okay what's up youtube it is pacey ai one more time about to give you another video remember to leave a like share and subscribe also turn on notifications check out my social media links are in the description so i want to talk to you guys real quick about this one this one is very exciting i think this is one that definitely you guys need to check out and it's called live portrait now this was a model that came out around two weeks ago there was a little hype about it didn't get the chance to really talk about it but i decided i had to talk about it because i think this is a really really cool tool that i was playing around with and i think it's something that you guys can play around with as well so if you guys go to liveportrait.github.io link to this is in the description you'll actually see their page and this is essentially um giving you a feel of what the model's like now the first videos are just comparisons with existing models so this is uh their models right here and these are their models and these are the other models that are used currently to do deep faking so this is essentially a deep fake tool just to let you guys know and what this is is that it takes an image what they call the source image and takes a video a driving video so this in in this uh example this would be the driving video this would be the source image right here then essentially it would then animate this image to make it look somewhat like this so if we scroll down right here as you guys can see this is a driving video and these are the source images so they have multiple source images that they sort of stitch together and essentially they're deep faking using this video to deep fake what's going on in this image now it's only able to move the head the body doesn't move as you guys can see but this is really cool and everybody's using the same facial expression and essentially it can detect all faces within the image so if you have 50 faces within the image and it will use that driving video to animate all 50 faces within that image it's actually pretty cool so this this is what it's showing you right here uh so this is also their video to video now essentially you know this this is a this is a source video right and then this is the edited video and then you have the driving key points right here so this is a little bit different from the live portrait this is a like a, a different use case for it but you'd need some driving key points to do this so going back to the live portrait portion though as y'all can see there's also little things that you can actually do to adjust the openness closeness, closeness of the eyes as you guys can see right here you can also open the mouth close the mouth and stuff like that so there are ways you can kind of uh modify how you want your character to look while they're doing the animation while the driving video is essentially driving the source video you can kind of modify how the eye the, the eye dilation as well as the the mouth um, openness so that is pretty cool as well um there's also some, some videos here just so so again lip retargeting eye retargeting and yeah i mean you could even uh do it for animals as well as you guys can see right here really really cool really really cool so this is really nice and if we go there's there's multiple ways you can set this up you can set this up as a radio uh, interface on your local uh hardware so these are the instructions of how you would prepare your environment obviously you got to create your conda your conda environment right here and then you want to you want to activate that environment so this is a virtual environment you guys if you guys don't know what virtual environments are i probably could do a video on stuff like this to kind of show you guys how to set up the uh, different models on your system that you can then interact with and run locally so if you guys want me to do a video on setting up different ai models on your pc that you can then use to run different workflows definitely let me know uh but this is the 
this is how you would go ahead and prepare your environments then you have to download the the pre-trained weights and essentially these are from hugging face they're stored on hugging face you can download those and then with these pre-trained weights you can go ahead and essentially set up a radio interface so uh so there we go so there's instructions here so um you can follow all these different instructions right here if you want to set up a radio interface you can do it like this as well and it shows you and essentially once you run once you run this you'll be able to log onto that interface it will look somewhat similar to something like this on your pc so essentially it will be an interface that's locally installed on your pc also you could set up a comfy ui custom node to run this as well so and this is why i have here and i'm going to kind of you know show you that but let me just go back over here a little bit so obviously you can see you have to install insight face into um on your on your pc so essentially you'd have to uh load up your virtual environment that you either created with conda or python whatever whatever virtual environment you have set up you want to install insight face within that virtual environment and then once you install insight face then you want to go ahead and now there is there should have there should be a if you go to live portrait i think or one of those you should have i'm not i'm not even sure if it's right here but there should be i think this is it i think this is it i think you you would need that workflow that you would have to then import you just drag it into your comfy ui so i can link you guys the workflow that you would need but essentially you drag that workflow into your comfy ui and then once you have inside face uh install into your python environment for comfy ui wherever comfy ui is installed on your pc and guys I'm, i may have to do a video tutorial to kind of show you exactly how to do this because maybe sometimes i think people that are not experienced with this may not fully understand what i'm saying but essentially whatever environment your comfy ui is set up on on your uh pc you have to activate that environment then you have to install insight face you then drag that workflow onto your comfy ui um, interface and then you want to uh, go to manager and then you want to click install missing custom nodes and that will install the custom node for um, live portrait so essentially as you guys can see here this is my workflow so i have just an image of this chinese guy I generated this from leonardo and i have this driving video now this driving video comes from the example so if you go to examples right here actually no if you go to examples right here so you have to go to the github page for the comfy ui live portrait kj right so you would go to examples and then you would essentially you would essentially um now you go to asset examples my bad then you go to driving and then you have some driving videos right here that you can then use for your comfy ui to drive your source image so this is my source image that's my driving video that i decided to use and then you just go ahead and cue the prompt and then as you can see you have something like this i have created this extra video combined um ui um interface right here so essentially what this is doing is that i'm splitting uh this portion because what's happening right now is that this is combining the two videos into one i want it as one video so instead of um you know splitting it um and i and i can show you guys how I, how i did this but instead of putting everything into one i'm just taking it and i'm just i just want the one one video right so 
yeah that's pretty much that let me know what you guys think about this i mean live portrait pretty dope uh if you guys want me to show you how to set all of this up i can definitely show this to you show this whole setup to you so you guys can better understand i don't know if this video was very clear but i tried my best to explain what you know what it is that you guys need to know but let me know what you guys think about live portrait and have a great day peace out. peace